This video is about right after the Windows 10 Creators Update yesterday, April 11th. So here it is on the 12th, and I'm recording this looking at an actual laptop where yesterday I went to the first Google hit when you type download Windows 10, and you get this tool. Uh, you can update, you can make an ISO. It's all very well explained in these various sections below. So once you have the update and the reboots are done, um, a couple little issues, uh, some cleanup uh, and activation to deal with. So I'm going to point out, I happen to use Veeam Endpoint Backup for daily backups. So I went ahead and, well, you can see it from the tray here. Click it, go to settings, and I disabled scheduled backups. Why? Because I didn't want to back up all the cruft. Uh, a lot of gigabytes of a Windows old, for instance. I have daily backups going already. So I made sure my backup was good by restoring to a VM. And now I just charge forward and went to creator's update. If I need to roll back, I'm going to use the backup mechanism, not keeping a littered Windows old directory on my C drive. Uh, precious SSD space. So let's get into all of the aspects of cleanup. For one, I don't need that icon anymore that it made on my desktop. The creator's update installer. Uh, next, I hit the Windows key and type disk. And what do you know, disk cleanup is the first thing to see. And then clean up system files. All right, so that's gonna look through my two terabyte Samsung 850. And right there you see it says previous Windows installation files. So it's gonna to present to me some options to clean up some serious space. Most of them obvious, some not so much. So that one's obvious, let's turn that on. Device drivers, half a gig, interesting. And finally, temporary Windows install files. I've already done rebooting, or it did its thing overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that checkbox on too. A whopping 30 gig saved. Now, those drivers, well, I have to get from the web rather than you know a local cache of half a gig, but still, that sounds pretty excessive. All right, so while that's cleaning up 30 gig of additional space for me, so now I get a prompt and it warns me I won't be able to roll back. So at this point, there's no turning back. Now, this activate windows. Uh, one way to do it is right click taskbar settings, and you'll see a thing that says you need to activate windows before you can personalize your PC. That's one of many ways to get to the activate windows dialog. Why I need to reactivate? Not quite sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, because I was active before. So I'm gonna work on my product key now. Okay, Windows 10 retail key worked. Um, other keys I had did not, so not really sure what happened there, but we're good now. And the disk cleanup is still continuing. There we go. So we got 30 gig back. We've got the icon cluttering our desktop gone. And now I can turn on my scheduled backups again. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a backup now. What about Windows version? Well, if I hit Windows plus R key for run and type Winver, it brings up that dialog. So that's our new build, but I'd like it to show my desktop. Maybe use BG Info, or you want something built into Windows, like the registry editor that'll reveal, uh, on your, it'll paint in your desktop the Windows version. So let's check that out. Windows version desktop. All right, and there it is, that easy. So instead of keystrokes, how about I just right click and run, type regedit, say yes, and then move that over a little bit. Now I'm just gonna make the appropriate edit to the registry that is outlined or detailed right over there. So we head down to HK current user, control panel. I'm following my own one, two, three click buttons to click on. Three, paint windows desktop, change that to one, click okay, close it. All right, There's a little more to it. If we wanna see it happen right away, uh, you're gonna to wanna to restart task manager. 
And the way you do that is to restart the entire Windows Explorer. So let me show you that. So if we go to uh, more details in Task Manager, Windows Explorer itself, you can restart it. And you'll see the taskbar went away and it's rebuilding it. And there we go. Our desktop now has the Windows version painted on it. So that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry.com.